the tally vote on the bottom line budget. All right. So I would like to, uh, I guess, make the motion, and Mr. Anderson will second that, for the bottom line budget number of? $27,225,312. Okay. Second. Thank you, Christy. Yes. I'd like to speak to that if I could. Hold on. We have a motion by Tim Jones and seconded second, by please. Steve Henderson. And we're talking about the bottom line, Budcom and Delivery. Well, it says Budcom and Delivery. Read that again, Christy. Yep, yeah, it's $27,225,312. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, discussion, please. Yes. Tim? Uh, this, this is the vote that will go on the ballot as to whether we recommend the budget or not. This is the sum total of our work. It's actually the expressed on the ballot. Yes, we, is that we true? recommend this budget or not. Okay. This is the number now. Unless adjustments are made, yes. Okay, this right. is the adjustments. number. Yep. Well, we only make adjustments at the public hearing Okay. after someone speaks on the issue or a line item, really. Unless somebody decides tonight to... Um, well, I'm taking after tonight. Okay, after tonight, yeah. right. Yeah. But that's the number we're looking uh, at And right then, now. of course, it could be changed at the little session as well by the legislative body there. Um, but... Barring those entities changing it, this is the, the vote we're about to take is going to go on the warrant That's as our recommendation. There you go. Right. Now, we cannot not recommend this because it wouldn't go on the ballot at all, right? So we, we have to have a majority vote to recommend. Uh, and I cannot support this bottom line number. There are items in this budget that I am absolutely by principle opposed to, uh, and therefore I will not be voting for this. Okay, until, we, until we take those items up. And I understand, my understanding, my sense of this body is the body is not willing to take those items out that I find so deeply offensive, so I will not waste the body's time by making motions to remove them. But I wanted you to know that is why I'm voting against this bottom line. Okay, there are you, items sir. that are offensive in here, mm -hmm. not just to me personally, but to the good principles of government, and I don't address that to the work of Christy. She's been excellent, very professional, and Fred has been outstanding uh, in terms of his help uh, as well. I'm not addressing my comments to either of those individuals. I don't want that interpretation to be uh, thought of at all, but there are line at, or money being spent on things that are uh, just uh, abhorrent, and thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Tim, for that opinion of yours. Um, and we all appreciate. Now, everybody here, of course, vote your conscience, and I'm going to ask for a vote right now in that bottom line number. Sonny, make it short, please. Well, okay. Two quick questions. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, the, Tim. Go the ahead. The $3.3 million in the surplus, what are the areas that are, have it been? I don't know what the $3.3 .3 million okay, is. Okay, the budget to. was floating mm -hmm. last, last year. Yeah, in November financials, we were 637000 under spent. In my November financials, which are on the website, and you all received copies of, we were 600, that's what I ran upstairs to get. We were 600 and, um, $637,546 under spent. So I'm not sure where the $3 million is coming from. Okay, your your On my 2017 budget was 26.8 million. Through the end of November, you, the, you spent 23.5 million. I'm looking at the general fund DRA format. Our expenditures through November. Let's see. That's as of 11:30. Because that includes debt, and when we report on our financials, we don't include right. debt and stuff. Yeah, 637 is, is what we were, and my prediction is that we're going to be about three to five hundred thousand under. That was what uh, okay. Mr. Jones asked earlier. So that's my best guess at this point. Just we call me Joe. 
Okay. <laughs> so, yep. I thought we weren't supposed to tell you that. <laughs> Sam. Sam. <laughs> that works. The other question, Sonny, go yeah, ahead. The other question I have is <coughs> apparently these two outstanding bonds, not not counting SAU 90 separate, the $2.3 million bond. I don't re recall what it's for to you. This is the budget? I have my budget book right here. It's long term bonds and notes principal. Oh, those are the principal payments for all of the bonds that we have. I, I if you look in your debt service of the budget, it lists yeah. out all of them. They're all listed right there. I think there's probably, what, about 10 maybe? Let's see. Debt service. Yeah. They're all listed in your original budget if you're curious in regards to what those principal payments are made up of. Uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 11. There's 10 in there because the 1.1. Uh, Lafayette just got removed in one of the motions that we just made. So there's 10 um, outstanding principal payments that make up that number. Okay. All set, Sonny? Okay, we're going to vote on this now. All those in favor, raise your hand, please. We have Brian and Sonny and Danielle, Maureen, Regina, Steve LaBranch, and is yours up or down? No, okay. It's and, oh, okay. And, well, I didn't know. <laughs> and those opposed, please. We have uh, David, Tim Jones, Steve Henderson, and Mr. Plouf. So four against. So the re it is the majority is to recommend. Thank you very much. What's the tally on that, friend? Six four. Is there any abstentions? Uh, no, no abstentions. So we okay. have six four. Six there four are ten zero. of us here.